Hey everybody, this is Omnibus Prime. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Legend of Zelda The Phantom Hourglass. Seriously, the sword can't cut through wood. Okay, anyway, last time we got the sword, we're trained how to use it, and now we're going to go to that go that path up this way. And here's why I was talking about in the last video. Whee! Oh wait, if you want you want to get a tip from this guy. As I was done, just time to speak with them. Anyway, just have a look at my garden here. That quake just heaved a bunch of rocks in the middle of my patch. I already saw that. Look at his face. Did you mind up moving up? Just simply tap on a rock to pick it up. Let's see. I don't want to be mean to the chicken. I want to be mean. Or not. I'm going to be mean to the chicken. Die, chicken! I like chicken. Oop. And here's what happens if you hit a chicken enough times. Ah! A big flock of chicken sweets. Okay. Anyway. Thanks a plenty. You really helped me out there. Not much, but here's something for your trouble. Please insist. Wow, he me really meant it when he said it wasn't much. You got a green rupee, it's worth one rupee. And, f and Wind Waker says you better collect a lot of these every time you get one of these. I just realized he looks a, lot like he looks a bit like Wario if you look at him closely. Hmm, maybe that was intended. Anyway, watch what the dirty look. Think I'm a cheapskate? Well, um, fine. Here, then here's a hot tip. Look at your map. There's a tree on the spot. Go bash it really hard. I'm not going to show it this time. But actually, I will. I'll mark it. See, right here. You can bring the map down onto the lower screen, and you can actually draw on your map that, to remind you of various things. Anyway, I'll, I'm going to spoil what's there. I'm just I'm going to go ahead and tell you. That tree has one has a big green rupee. I'm no, I'm not spoiling how much a big green rupee's worth. Die! Die, Choo Choo's! Go back to Tartarus! See, I told you I'd be making um, um, Percy Jackson jokes. Die tree! Die tree! Die tree! Oh, here's one of here's the first instance of a statue that I did not mean to hit at the, at that time. And see, yeah, it's something I already told you. Die, die, tree. Death to trees. Okay, I'm going crazy. I am insane. No, really, I am. <laughs> I have ADHD, so of course I'm gonna be a little crazy. Oh no, we're being we're blocked. Not really. It's a new type, and this is a new cut type of door. It's a mm, this one requires a key, and we can't get it. Uh, ambush! Die! Die! Go back to Tartarus. <laughs> anyway, here's it for the first chest. Notice how the top completely vanishes instead of opening up. You got a small key. Sometimes you got keys. Sometimes you got press special gems to put on special pedestals to mm, trigger effects you need to get on with the game. And sometimes they'll carry treasures. Sometimes actual treasures, sometimes rupees, sometimes... Oh, spirit gem, we'll get into that later. And this key... The, this, these kind of keys, whenever you get one, you can use it um, to open these doors. See, this door is now open to us. No, I don't forget... Die! Die! How dare you ambush a little kid! Up here's our answer's first instance of stone tablets. Die! How? <gasps> you what? Hit me! How dare you attack a child? Yeah. You get it because Link will kill a child in this game. Oh, never mind. I am being crazy. Of course I'm insane. I have ADHD. Anyway, you tap a block, you can, then you can push it whichever direction you want. Here is our first instance of. These guys, annoying bat-like enemies. I forget their official names, even though I've heard my favorite Let's Player name them. I mean, his Let's Player, not actually just the other day, really. 
Anyway. One Pong Lovers first. Second from the left. Okay. One. Okay. We're pulling for Lovers worth. Well, but this one coming here. You better right on that. To do that, tap the map icon, then scribble to your heart's content. That's not what I've been doing. Or just press down on the control pad or the B button. Yay, shortcuts. Wow. Talk about breaking the fourth wall. Cinella broke the fourth wall. Click order or else. If you if you pull them in the wrong order, they reset. And a bunch of snakes, I believe they're called ropes. <laughs> if I'm getting this right, will spawn. Um, there's annoying there's another annoying bat. We'll actually be fighting a humanoid version of these later on, and we'll but before that we'll be fighting flaming versions. And actually, the humanoid version of these bat-like things we'll be fighting is actually a humanoid version of the flaming ones I mentioned. Second, first on the left, it's last, second from the right. So for by process of elimination, the one on the far right is the is the one, third one to push. Here's the treasure chest. We got a red rupee. It's worth twenty rupees. It's like how he smiles every time he gets a treasure in a treasure chest, regardless of what's in it. Okay, anyway, so let's pull the switches. One, two. Three, and no, the switches when pulled do not open the door. Instead, the key to the door appears. You got a small key. Use this key to open locked doors. Touch a door to open it. You can only use it once. I like how there's a glowing aura around every item you acquire. Every time you acquire, and I like how there's a glowing aura every time you get an item. And right, now to go to the next room in this cavern. Rats! Die! Oh, there's an annoying rat. We have to... Mm, see, the, okay. the solution to this puzzle is... Need to block off... One of its little mouse holes here. So it can't get a so you can get it more easily. Okay. I wow! There is my first epic fail in the field. There, got him that time. Didn't think I'd be affected by the let's play curse. Mm, which is mentioned by and the my favorite let's player, but apparently I am being affected. So anyway, which is kind of strange because I tend to talk to myself when doing video games anyway, so this kind of served as a practice for this. And if my voice got a little quieter, it's because I sat up and I'm bent over right now. Oh, I sat up and got further away from the camera. Would anyway, die. Ooh, money, die. Ooh, blue will be worth five. Oh, I lied. I lied. Nah, man, I missed. I tapped the wrong spot. Die. Watch this. Seriously. Die. See, you can hit him with a rock. Wait, here's the exit to the, to this the, to this area. And we're in the village. Yay. Hey, look at the chicken. There's that random guy. Hey, look, there's Linebeck's boat. We made it to the port. It's so much further to walk. The bridge is out. Yeah, thank. Now that we're here, let's look up Linebeck. I mean, once or twice, can't say I care for him. Neither do I. So, talking for such a big cuckoo. <laughs> let's head to the port. Okay, whenever you see that DS icon, look on your top screen, and you can you can go and do that. This is the mm, shipyard that's in the plot by ice isn't open yet. This is the treasure teller's place. Do this place doesn't open until after you've beaten the Temple of Courage. Anyway, and you can also go to the ship. You can go to the shipyard to customize your ship once as you get ship parts or to fix your your salvage arm. And if my voice got quieter, it means I sat up again. Look at this remarkable ship. What do you think of it? 
Oh, just look at her. What a ship. Such a proud beauty. Time loses all meaning when I gaze upon her. Oh, if she were only mine. Seriously. It belongs to a sea captain what goes by the name of Lineback. Told ya. A fearless soul, I hear. He's seen the whole world, yet never seen defeat. That's because he's a coward and runs away. What? You're searching for Lineback? The captain usually drops anchor at the milk bar. Milk bar? But I haven't seen him in days. Perhaps the bar owner knows where Van Lineback has vanished to. Okay, if you're wondering where the bar is, it's right here. But first, let's check out the store. Ah oh, man, I don't have enough rupees. <clears throat> you know those potions? You can hold up to two potions at once. They restore your health. Uh, I need more rupees. 80 rupees. Come on, come on. I need rupees. Rupees. Here's a treasure chest we can't get to. I couldn't figure and could never you could figure out how to get up there, so I won't be showing that. Here's a bunch of grass up way up here. Oh look, five. You can cut, actually you cut this grass much quick, much more quickly with an item we get later in the Temple of Fire, but I won't spoil what it is just yet. Okay, anyway, yay! We've got enough to buy the shield. Let's go buy the shield, the shield, so we can defend ourselves. The shield. Hey, look! There's a power gem. It has the same this emblem on it as the per Din's pearl and Wind Waker. Buy. I'll buy. I'll be buying potions later on. I'll only be spending item on potions and heart containers, and I'll also be selling treasures. Whenever I get them, we got the wooden shield to finish. Wait, holding it. Oh, and by the way, the value of the treasures changes every every game file. Every game, either each in the value of each individual treasure changes. For instance, my first game, um, I beat the entire time I beat this. The value of a Hell Rock Room was 800 rupees, and now and then uh, the other, the new file I started not that long ago, the second one you saw, I was mostly done with. It was changed to 50 rupees. Come on, what a ripoff! Anyway, we can cut the grass if we want to, but I didn't. Get, I'm not gonna waste that much time. Hey, look, it's bread and whatever that drink is supposed to be. Where is it a drink? I don't know. Hey, look, it's a barrel. Hey, a dartboard? Seriously? There's no room for darts. Hey, what does this say? Ah, man, it doesn't let you read it. There's that random guy. A new customer. Oh, hearty greetings. Lots of locals drifting here to bit to while away the hours. Bit empty at the moment. Hey, it's, it's facing the opposite direction. It usually does for me. Aren't you a tad short to be in here? No, take no offense, sir. Sir. You'll be more than welcome when you've gone a little further in life. Seriously, you have to be older than Link is now just for milk. Looking for Lineback? Sure, I knew him. And that chair there knew him recently. <laughs> That's funny. Lineback just dashed out saying he was off to the Temple of the Ocean King, which is actually on the map. Standing in plain view. Tried to stop that crazy fellow, but off he went to the north side of our. There's the temple of, mm, the, of the Ocean King right there, actually. But tried to stop that crazy fellow, but off he went to the north side of our. Did my ears hear that right? He went to the temple of the Ocean King? Listen up, youngin. Listen good. The Ocean King is defender of all creation. And that temple up in, on the hill was built in his armor. Honor, armor. None more worthy. I messed up in my English again. Sadly, a curse was laid on that place that sucks the souls from all who enter. Yeah, we'll discover the source of that later on. The final boss. Who's kinda weird looking. None dare step into the Temple of the Ocean King, so put it out of your mind. Can't see where your friend's gone, but I'll tell you this. Stay out of there! Yes, yeah, steer clear, that's what we all do. But the odd visitor now and then can't resist it. What? What? Where is it? Right there on your map. You're not actually going there, are you? Yes, we are. In fact, you're supposed to, to continue with the game. Yeah, 
Anyway, let's go up here this way to the Ocean King's temple. Die! Oh, look, it's a heart. Die! Oh, here's a new annoying enemy, a crow. These guys will fly at you when you get too close. Hey, look, you bounced out of that. If you get too close to them, they'll fly at you and ram into you and try to take off with some of your rupees, or at least one of them. Anyway, here's the tree that the guy was talking about. If I can just... <sighs> there! Oh, I glitched into it! Wow, I glitched into it! <laughs> wow! Look at the tree, it's blocking his view! And my, if my voice got quieter, it's because I got up again. It's worth 100 rupees! Uh, I like, that's funny how it blocked him from view. That crack in the wall right there is for later, but so we won't worry about that for now. Which is something I don't really know what for. The Temple of the Ocean King. You'll see that emblem popping up right there, popping up a lot. Aha, so this is the Temple of the Ocean King. The legend has it the temple was built to honor the mighty Ocean King. But the temple has fallen into ruin, and, the, and people say it ruins any who enter. Still, we have to find Linebeck. So let's dive right on in, Omnibus. Temple of the Ocean King. There I go, using my ability to alter my voice. Ooh, creepy. Whoa, look, Omnibus. Looks like someone's skeleton. What is it doing here? You don't think this could be Linebeck? This is really starting to creep me out. Yeah, to me it just seems weird. Those skeletons are actually have sp See, they can actually talk to you through their spirits. As you can see right here. Anyway, after this quick cutscene, we'll st end the video. Hey! Wait. Did you hear something, Omnibus? Hey! Okay, I definitely heard something, didn't you? Oh, hey, there's someone over there, Omnibus. Look who it is! You, kid! Over here, kid! I'm talking to you! You came at the right time! You, you're lucky you found me! Lucky for me, but luckier for you! No, help me! Well, him? That's lined back. Which would explain why he's so rude. Hey, are you listening? I said help! See what I mean? What is he screaming about? That, oh, I like how there's no ceiling. For someone pleading to be saved, he sure is rude. See? What did you say? Oh, it's that chatty fairy from the old man's place. Yes, I got it. Listen, can you help me out? Just pay attention to what I have to say. Anyway, eh, let's see. And then it cuts again. I know you're kidding, though, but try to listen up. I'm trapped in here and I don't know what to do. Normally I'd free myself without a problem, but I sprained my ankle and can't move. Will you help? Sure. I knew you'd come through for me, kid. Well then. Do something about these pointy spikes. There's gotta be a way to disarm the trap somewhere around here. Fine light, but just wait there. Let's help him out, Omnibus. Okay, we're gonna end the video off right here. So, if you like my video, be sure to watch my next video. And, well, see you next time. Omnibus Prime, over and out.